the disease chart this is the chart which will help you to re, uh, to study about some diseases this chart is having few columns this is column number 1 the name of the disease column number 2 the causative agent of the disease means that organism or that uh, non living things that is responsible for causing that disease then the next column uh, symptoms of that disease the second last column the mode of transmission means how uh, the causative agent of that uh, disease is uh, transmitted from one body to another body or from from the outside into the body of the normal person and the last column is uh, for the prevention measure of that disease so let's see the detail of all these diseases given in this chart in this chart number 1 at uh, number 1 malaria this disease is there the famous disease a mosquito born infectious disease of the human this is the disease which is caused to the human by the mosquito bites actually this mosquito act as a host of the uh, that uh, causative agent the causative agent of this disease is uh, one of the protist and the name of that protist is plasmodium malarial parasites this is this parasites uh, are having different strains like the plasmodium vivax plasmodium ovale plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum this protist plasmodium malarial parasites different parasites they needs the host and one of the host of this parasite is mosquito so they live in the body of mosquito for some time to complete their life cycle stages and thereafter mosquito when mosquito bites to the human body then this um, uh, protist from the body of the mosquito transmits into the body of the human so mosquito is being the source of transmission of this um, uh, malaria disease so causative agent is a protist plasmodium malarial parasites the symptoms of this disease it involves different symptoms like the fever shivering arthralgia means the joint pains fever and sweating lasting for 4 to 6 hours vomiting anemia hemoglobinuria retinal damage and the sudden coldness etc all these symptoms are the symptoms of this is malaria the mode of transmission as i said earlier uh, the mode of transmission of this protist required two host one of the host is a female mosquito and the name of that mosquito is anopheles this anopheles mosquito for in the body of this anopheles mosquito that protist um, that is plasmodium vivax it uh, spent some life part uh, some life uh, some stage of stages of its life into the body of this female uh, mosquito anopheles and when this mosquito bites to the human body it goes into the human body and infect the per uh, normal person uh, how to prevent uh, uh, from this disease uh, or how, what are the different prevention measures of this disease so here it is uh, by preventing the mosquito bites by using the mosquito nets insect repellents by spraying the insecticides and by draining the standing water in which they lay their eggs and one more important process is there to prevent the disease hmm, the use of a fish known as gambusia fish this gambusia fish it if it is uh, released in the water uh, having the lot uh, numerous number of that eggs of mosquito if this this gambusia fish feed on hmm, the larvae of that mosquito so this gambusia fish is being the one of the source of prevention measure of this malarial disease so this is about the malaria the second in the list is uh, one more disease known as amebiasis amebiasis this disease amebiasis this disease is caused by the amoeba so it is uh, this is by amoeba 
so causative agent of this disease is one amoeba and its name is entamoeba histolytica entamoeba entamoeba histolytica so this entamoeba entamoeba histolytica causes the disease amoebiasis the symptoms of this disease involves uh, the mild diarrhea dysentery with the blood and mucus in stool abdominal pain is one of the um, symptom and if there are no symptom no symptoms are seen then the patient is considered as a carrier's means this disease will be carried uh, by that patient into the next body then the mode of transmission mode of transmission of this disease can be understand by the foco oral route it is transferred by the foco oral uh, route uh, indirectly through the contact with the dirty hands and the objects anal oral contact and through the contaminated food and water the next column for the uh, prevention measure of this amoebiasis disease it involves uh, washing the hands thoroughly with the soap and the hot running water for 10 seconds after using the toilets and changing the baby's diaper and uh, before handling the food and after often you should clean the toilets and the bathroom especially the seats and taps you should also avoid the raw uh, raw vegetables growth uh, uh, by the human feces in which human feces are used uh, as a bio fertilizer uh, um, one should drink the boiled water and one uh, we should also avoid the unhygienically prepared food so these are the prevention measure of this amoebiasis disease by following all the as prevention measure we can uh, escape from this disease the next in the list is uh, one of the bacterial disease known as typhoid it's a disease caused by the bacteria hence it is bacterial disease and its causative agent is a, a, a bacteria known as salmonella typhi this salmonella typhi causes disease typhoid the symptoms of this typhoid involves um, so many symptoms like uh, slowly progressive fever as uh, as high as uh, one or four fahrenheit profuse sweating gastroenteritis less commonly a rash on the flat and the uh, rose colored spots malaise headache cough bleeding nose in some cases and the abdominal pain all these things all these are the symptoms and the signs of the typhoid disease then the mode of transmission the mode of transmission uh, for this typhoid disease involved by the food water contaminated with the feces of an infected person which contains this bacterium by the flies insect so these are the uh, transmission mode of transmission and uh, what about the uh, prevention measure the self hygiene is one of the best way and by using the proper vaccine like uh, the ty21 live oral vaccine typhim vi typhoid polysaccharide vaccine by using this vaccine um, one can um, prevent from this disease the next disease is filariasis a parasitic disease caused by a parasites which is also known as a lymphatic uh, elephantiasis its causative agent is one of the nematode uh, which is a round worm thread like uh, filarial worm and its name is uh, ocareria bancrofti and the strain is uh, brugia malai and the brugia timori all these nematodes round worms are the causative agents of this uh, filarious disease which are actually uh, parasitic in nature means they are dependent on the other uh, living organism body and they feed on that body or in inside that body so they are the parasites the symptoms or signs of this disease 
involves the edema with the thickening of the skin and the underlying tissues affects mainly the lower extremities legs arms vulva breast and scrotum these are the symptoms of this filariasis disease the mode of transmission through the vector insect like the mosquito mosquito can transmit this disease too then the prevention measure avoid the mosquito bites by using the insecticides treated mosquito bed nets taking the diethyl carbamazine 100 mg twice a day for three weeks and for five days every six month this is the prevention measure of this disease then the last pneumonia pneumonia an inflammatory condition of the lungs this disease causative agents are more than one they may be bacteria they may be virus they may be fungi they may be parasites it may be non-living substance like a chemical burn and it may also be the physical it may also cause by the physical injury injury to the lungs the bacteria which cause this pneumonia disease is streptococcus pneumonia virus influenza vir influenza virus and rsv virus so these are the different bacteria viruses fungi parasites chemicals and physical injury as a causative agent of this pneumonia disease the symptoms are divided into two categories main symptoms and less frequent symptoms main symptoms like a cough producing the yellow or greenish sputum high fever with a shaking chill shortness of breath sharp or stabbing chest pain during the deep breath or cough less frequent symptoms involve the coughing of blood headaches sweaty and clammy skin fatigue loss of appetite blueness of skin nausea vomiting mood swing joint pain and muscle pain muscle ache all these are the different symptoms of this disease pneumonia the mode of transmission the mode of transmission of pneumonia involves the infection to the lungs by the causative agent this is one of the mode of transmission by by the different types of causative agent like a bacteria virus fungi and the another another source it's common disease of the world of all age all age groups it's actually a leading cause of a death among all the ages the childhood the youth the adult the old ages this disease uh, are the leading cause of the death in all ages then the prevention measure of this pneumonia involves the vaccine against the Haemophilus influenzae and the Streptococcus pneumonia in the first year of the life. So this vaccine can be used for as a prevention measure. The amantidine, remantidine, zanimivir, and the oseltamivir can be helped to prevent the influenzae when an influenzae outbreaks occurs so this is about the chart and the different types of disease which will help you for your health because a health is nothing but the condition of the body in which the body is physically mentally and socially fit and not merely an absence of disease while the disease means the condition of the body the abnormal condition of the body in which the body organ or processes or the systems doesn't work properly or if work so it will not work properly means it work it will work partially or either it will work partially or not properly or it will not work this is about the disease chart thank you